Hey, you guys, welcome to day 22 of the challenge. Today, if you have animals, we're gonna be going through your animal stuff. If you don't have animals, that's okay, and you can just play catch up if you haven't been as diligent with the challenge, or you can continue in a different area that may not be in the challenge. But if you do have animals, it's your time to shine. You are gonna go through their toys, any toys that are too ripped or too old or too yucky smelling, <laughs> get rid of them. Um, any treats that are expired or your dog doesn't like or cat, um, go through food that you may have bought and you know they don't like, but you just kept it there because you spent money on it and you would like to bring it to a shelter, but you know you're not going to. <laughs> I have heard all the stories. Go through any old brushes or toothpaste or shampoos or anything like that. Their medications, you're also gonna go through go through everything pertaining to all of your animals stuff today and hopefully you can purge and centralize all of it if you find that you know you have bird stuff in the basement and then dog stuff in a cubby beside his crate and then cat stuff in the front and chewy closet try and centralize all of it and then that way you can perhaps if you have more people living at home delegate some tasks and you just send them to one location Delegating is such a great thing. So today is animals, and we're gonna go and declutter all of that stuff. If you are feeling up to it, I want you to post some photos of your animals today. Make that part of your decluttering challenge. You don't have to declutter your animals, but um, declutter their stuff and post some photos, either with them or of them, and put their names. I would love to see them. I will also post photos of mine. I have my dog, Marley. Zena and Molly, and then we have a cat, Brooklyn. So, I can't wait to see the photos, and good luck with your challenge today. It should be fairly easy. It should be a quick sweep around of going through all of their items, and then if you feel like stuff is just thrown everywhere, then you may need to invest in some baskets, and by now you should learn, you, have, you should have been able to learn what kind of baskets are good for each area of your home. So, good luck with that, and I can't wait to see the photos, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.